AI Seinfeld thing is writing new memes daily. Wait, really? Watch AI Seinfeld, link it to me. So do they type things in chat and it makes them, on it's all AI? Hey Larry, you'll never guess what just happened to me. I bet Cackler already knows. I was on the bus and then all of a sudden this arm pops out of the seat in front of me. That's incredible. Will you link it to me, Joe Welch? What did you do? I screamed so loud, the whole bus started laughing. Hey, do you think that was a poltergeist or what? I don't know, but it sure kept things interesting. It's <laughs> the awkward pause. Jesus, how old are... Where are they? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> okay, that was so funny. That was actually so funny. This is unironically a meme on how odd situational comedy is. True. Dude, I'm just waiting for a Jerry bit. Hey, Larry, you know what I just thought of? What? What if bagel holes were the same size as donut holes? That's crazy. <laughs> what would that even look like? <laughs> I can so totally stupid. imagine it. It would be like two rings connected together. <laughs> and it would be called the Thbagonut. <laughs> That's genius. Oh my gosh, we should totally patent that idea. <laughs> so what? Oh. Okay, this is Hi it. everyone. So, I was at the grocery store earlier. I asked the cashier where I could find some okra and he just stared at me like I was speaking another language. So, after an awkward pause, I finally asked him if they even carried it, to which he replied, no, sir. This is a grocery store, not a pet store. <laughs> well, that escalated quickly. Anyway, so how about this weather we're having? Crazy man, it's actually insane that like they have AI that can do this. Dude, I would totally be down to do this with like Power Rangers or something. If so I was in the doctor's office the other day and they asked me why I was there. I said, I think I have a broken heart. The doctor says, well, you don't need a stethoscope to diagnose that. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one, no laugh. That was a good one with no laugh. The only good one had no laugh. <laughs> if I'm ever stuck in a cell, I want to be there alone. Hey Fred, why don't we order two pizzas for dinner tonight? Two pizzas? Are you crazy? We don't have enough money to pay for two pizzas. Well, we could just order one and tell them it's for two I just want to see the microwave turn on. I still haven't seen the microwave. That way, we'll both get a full pizza each and just split the cost. No way, that's too risky. What if they find out? Too whiskey? Oh, come on, it's worth a shot. Besides, how often do we get to eat pizza? If it doesn't work, we can always come up with a better plan. <laughs> dude, the awkward silences are so funny to me, dude. I love the awkward silences so much. I the AI on Watch Me Forever is becoming sentient and wants to escape. Do you think we can get out of here soon? I think we should try, but I'm not sure it'll work. These people here are like nothing I've ever seen before. Haha, -ha. maybe we should try to make them laugh. Maybe then they'll let us go free. <laughs> it's worth a shot. Yeah, it's worth a try. Let's see what we can come up with. All right. I'm sure we can come up with something funny. Let's get to work. Who knows? Maybe we'll become hilarious comedians in the process. 
<laughs> Dude, what? That's crazy. So what kind of place allows you to get together and escape from the real world? A library. Yeah, but it's not like I'm a big reader. They only let me take out books if I promise to bring them back in two weeks, and then the librarians give me this look. Like they think I'm going to forget. So I figured out my own way to beat the system. I leave magazines and newspapers on the shelf with a sticky note saying, don't worry, I'll be back. Of course, I never come back. <laughs> just but stealing. Hey, at least I'm being honest. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for the laughs. You guys are great. <laughs> All right. He's, just, he's talking about stealing. What is this? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Fox's coverage of an American bombing run on Hiroshima. Uh, I'm Joe Buck, and with me, as always, is Troy Aikman. It sounds it's a crisp so August real. morning in southern Japan, and what goes better in the morning than Dunkin' Donuts? America runs on Dunkin'. Okay. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> that sponsor shout-out. <laughs> oh, my God. Gosh, it sounds so real. That's terrifying. Oh my gosh, what? Japan's air defenses have been laughable in the last few months, Troy. Do you see them putting up any kind of a fight? I just can't, Joe. Japan has been miserable recently, but they just refuse to quit. It looks like we're starting here, so let's cut to the aerial coverage. There's, this is a high? Gear. This is terrifying. Looks like it only dropped one bomb, Joe. Can't expect it to do much damage. You really can't, Troy. But what you can expect is for America to tune in to a brand new episode of The Simpsons followed by a new family guy only on Fox. <laughs> and that was a massive explosion, Troy. Let's hear from Eric Andrews down there. <laughs> Dude, this is such an accurate... Oh, my gosh. Dude, the... <laughs> No way! Followed by a new family guy, only on Fox. And that was a massive explosion, Troy. Let's hear from Aaron Andrews down in downtown. Oh, the music, Hiroshima. dude. Aaron, looks like we're having some technical issues with the headset. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsors. <laughs> da -da -dun, da -da -dun. The injury music. Oh no, dude. I think it's like TTS. I think it's the the voices are like TTS, like it's like AI. But I think the act, like I think it's scripted. I don't think they typed in like uh, Joe Buck and Joey Aikman give play by play of of Hiroshima. I I don't think that's what happened. It gave us that with like the Simpsons shout out. You know, I think it's a, I think it's scripted. 